Synagogue Online. Welcome, Guardian. Today we will be looking at the 1320 Legend Law Sector, Afleon's Rest. Recommended power level, 1320. Champions present, overload and unstoppable. Burn present, 50% bonus damage to all stasis damage. Shield elements present, void. Modifiers present, locked loadout. Match game, mismatching elemental weapons versus enemy shields will considerably lower your damage. Extra shields, enemy shields are increased from base amounts. Limited revives, limited fire team revives, gain additional revives by defeating champions. Epitaph, taking combatants generate blight geysers when defeated. Number of champions within the lost sector, overload, 2. Unstoppable, 2. Advised loadout, please be advised, earn for this lost sector's stasis, which does not have a wide selection of weapons to choose from. We are going to separate the recommendations into two, one with stasis weapons, and another without. Kinetic slot, option 1, kinetic stasis sidearm for unstoppable champion stunning, option 2, kinetic bow for overload champion stunning and general damage output. Energy slot. Option 1. Void bow of choice for overload champion stunning and general damage output. Option 2. Void fusion rifle for unstoppable champion stunning and void shield breaking. Heavy slot. For those who have played enough Trials of Osiris, the stasis linear fusion rifle, Reese Regret, is a perfect fit. Otherwise, we advise you to use a rocket launcher of choice. Loadout used in gameplay. Peace bond with pulse monitor and harmony for unstoppable champion stunning. The Monarch for close to mid-range overload champion stunning, void shield breaking, and general damage. Ascendancy with the impulse amplifier and explosive light for mid to long range high single target damage. Your first champion will be through the small cave entrance, beyond a high concentration of taken thralls. An unstoppable champion. champion by damaging it, as it will begin to chase you. Lead it to the outside of the small cave and engage the champion. Your second champion will be on the cliff side, just left of where the first champion was located. An overload champion. If the taken thralls are fully cleared, you are free to engage the champion as there will be no enemies around you to cause a distraction. Your major obstacles at this point and on will be a high concentration of taken scions, which tend to split and multiply rapidly even when in the middle of engaging them. We advise you to use whichever area of effect damage you can muster to deal with the group. Your third champion will be immediately after the second champion, an unstoppable champion. Just like with the first champion, lure the champion to a safer location for engagement, then eliminate. Your fourth champion will be in the boss room, surrounded by rank and file enemies along with a few major class taken alkalites with void shields. An overload champion. Stay a fair distance from the champion and eliminate any rank and file enemies within your close proximity. If all that's left are the major class taken alkalites, you may engage the champion at this time.
boss encounter will be slower than dealing with champions. Due to the high concentration of additional enemies that spawn alongside and during the fight of the boss. Take your time and prioritize with dealing with rank and file enemies along with the major class enemies.